Pumpkin pie is a Thanksgiving must. Even with all those extra calories, it's impossible to pass it up. Today we have Melissa Costello from Karma Chow here to share with us her vegan pumpkin cheesecake. So now you can have your pie and eat it too. So Melissa, what makes this vegan pumpkin cheesecake so delicious? Well, there's a few different things. It's Number one, it's dairy-free. There's no cream cheese in it, which is what most normal cheesecakes have. Right. It's made with a cashew base, and cashews are really high in healthy fats, and I soak the cashews so that it releases a lot of the fats as well. So that's the main ingredient of the base oh, of this wow. cheesecake. Okay, making it vegan. Yes. Here's what you'll need. For the crust, two cups walnuts, half a cup dried coconut, one quarter cup agave nectar, and a half teaspoon of sea salt. For the filling, two cups cashews soaked for four hours, one can pureed pumpkin, six tablespoons coconut oil melted, three tablespoons lemon juice, half cup agave nectar, three tablespoons coconut milk, one teaspoon vanilla extract, two teaspoons cinnamon, half a teaspoon nutmeg, quarter teaspoon cloves, and one teaspoon ground ginger. First, we're gonna start by making the crust, which is really simple. I have a food processor here, and I'm gonna take my walnuts and dump them in. Then we also have some raw shredded coconut here. Ooh, yummy. Delicious. Some agave nectar. Little sweet factor. I'm gonna use my little spatula so we make sure we get every good bit out. And then I'm just gonna put a little dusting of sea salt in there. I'm gonna wow. put the lid on this, it's so simple. So it's all blended up, so next what I'm gonna do is put it in the cheesecake pan. Okay. So basically, I'm just pressing this down into the pan. So now we're gonna make the filling, and I'd love for you to put all the ingredients right in Okay, the I'm ready, put me to work. So let's do the cashews first. Okay. Dump all those in, great. And then let's just put all of our liquids in next. Okay. So, so that we have a nice liquid base in the, the, in the blender cup. Lemon juice. Melted coconut oil. Really high in healthy fats. Mm -hmm. Great for the skin, great for the digestion. Coconut milk. So we have vanilla. vanilla. It's starting to smell good. Yes, it smells really good. Agave. Yes. Agave is great because it's a low glycemic sweetener and it's 1.3 times sweeter than sugar. So you don't have to use as much either. Excellent. Let's get our pumpkin, pumpkin. in there. Yummy, it's the season. This is the season. This is where our taste buds go crazy. Oh yeah. And then we have our spices. Yes, that's nutmeg. Cloves. Cloves. We have cinnamon. cinnamon. Cinnamon's great for balancing blood sugar. Did you know that? I love that. And then we have that's the- ginger. Ginger. Ground ginger. Mm. And that's it. everything. So, what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna put this on the blender bottom and blend it up. So you wanna blend it up till it's really nice and really, creamy. Right. So now we get to pour it in our cheesecake pan. Ooh. Do you wanna do the honors? Yeah, scraping? I, you know, you don't wanna spill any of this. That's right. Oh, wow. Doesn't that look amazing? This is a good team effort here, Melissa. It sure is. I like always, cooking with others. <laughs> yes, it's always fun to have someone else in the kitchen with you. What you wanna do now is just put this in the freezer for about one to two hours or until firm. Wow, no yeah. baking required, very easy. No baking, you never have to turn your oven on for it. So the cheesecake's ready, it's firm. I took it out of the freezer. Okay. And I'm just gonna take it out of the pan. So what you wanna do is get a spatula, just go around the edge lightly. Loosen it up there. Look at that, isn't that Perfect. beautiful? Looks just like pumpkin pie. <laughs> Slice it up. So I always want to make sure that you freeze this till it's firm. Right. Mm. Wow, that tastes just like pumpkin pie. Thank you, Melissa, that was so delicious. Thank you. Awesome, we'll see you guys next time on Fit Sugar TV.